Okay guys, so this is my Frontier setup. Um, of course it is motorized. You know, for all the electric guys, I get it. This is not an argument. This is just what I typically like when I don't feel like paddling. Or if I'm too far out, this gets me home. What I've done recently is I've added a fuel cell on the back. It was a gas tank, of course, two and a half gallons. And literally a couple squeezes and it runs right into the tank via the, the uh, cap on top. And it works like a champ. Literally, I can fill on the fly. It doesn't run out of fuel, in other words. So it will last all day. As you can see, it's routed. There's no issue with heat or the muffler or anything like that. And um, you'll see the propeller and everything's pretty much lined up. It has a slight angle on it, which I try to tell people you don't want to run these straight because your bow is going to be smacking into the water, which thus is more friction. So again, not everyone runs in the same, but I have a slight angle on mine. Of course, everything's pivoted, you know, to meet the tiller arm extension. So you'll see kind of a little close up here of what this looks like. It's bolted right through one hole I've opened up and it slides pretty easily. No issues there. Tanks two and a half gallons. You can run small tanks, and that's just what I had. Um, and everything, like I said, it functions. It's not an issue. So I do have an extension that I typically put on this that runs next to my seat so I can restart the engine at, at will. And then over here is the kill switch on my right side. You always want the kill switch away from the tiller arm. I learned the hard way on that one. The arm got away from me, and my, my kayak decided it wanted to do donuts in the water. So... That wasn't pretty. Anyway, so here's what we got. The Millennium seat works beautifully with it. No issues there. And uh, that's pretty much it. This is your 50cc kayak buddy with an external tank.